Well, the house is going to end of my commercial day. Never. Very easy to do. This is the back part of it. Just got some screens to clean. Dirt in here. Brush, can you fix? You can see all the work. because you can see like right here it doesn't it doesn't go in there's this, this gap right here this is the under handle no, we only need wonder what they're thinking about when they make when they design windows for these older homes. Okay, well that's not going to be any more of a fix than doing this. yellow, kind of see-through yellow spiders out here, and they can be pretty painful if they bite you, but most of the time you'll find them just dead in the frame, and all you gotta do is sweep them out. I've had for, um, this, uh, triple aught, quadruple aught steel, but, um, I lost it. I just have the worst luck with my accessories. I'm always losing them. Even when I'm being very mindful. It's like the biggest expense, I swear, is replacing poles and accessories. This owner had dogs, and that's when I bring up this a doodle pad. These doodle pads are great. I think they're called doodle bug pads. They're like really soft. They're not gonna scratch up the glass. And this head rotates. It's just like on this sort of um, Velcro sort of thing, so that you don't have to worry about this. This is very soft and won't scratch up. It's very important. It's the last thing you want to do. Scratch up your customer's glass. I mean, I think we've all run into some issue or seen somebody else have that issue where they scratch up the glass. And, you know, it was a very 
easily fixable problem or a very easily avoidable problem. I.e. Make sure you know which equipment you're using. Stick that guy right there. Okay. Now, when I use the doodle bug pad, it really thickens up the um, uh, solution that I use. And what I like to use is a mix of the Unger uh, professional solution. I can't remember what it's called. It's, it's been around for a while. And uh, Meyer soap. Now I'm actually not using Meyer soap today. I just ran out of it and I haven't had a chance to go the store and pick some up. But I've had the best compliments from my clients with the Meyer soap. They say, oh, it smells so great. It looks so good. Yeah, I want to hear that. That's what I want to hear. Because last thing you want to do is leave their house smelling bad. You know, you want to make sure you're not using old rags that smell all musky and, you know, that leaves a nasty odor. So at least my policy is to always have clean equipment and clean shoes and clothes and, you know, leave it better than you left, than you came in. the end of my day. It took about an hour and a half to finish that house. Wasn't too bad. Pretty easy. Slightly dirty tracks, so. <sighs> Sent out the, inv the invoice and 